There were two apostles named James, and the other patron saint is called the Greater, not because he is holier than the other, but for other reasons. Pope Benedict said he was given that title because he was one of Jesus' closest apostles, among the three whom Jesus invited to see him transfigured and to pray for him in the Garden of Gethsemane when he went through his terrible agony. St. James the Greater was the brother of St. John, the beloved apostle, and both were the sons of Zebedee and Salome. St. James and his brother were both fishermen and were called by Jesus for mending their nets beside the Sea of Galilee at the beginning of his ministry. He was also present at some of the key events in Jesus' life. He even gave them a nickname, Boanerges, or Sons of Thunder. On Pentecost, James received the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and was empowered and pursued the mission given him by the Lord. The Iberian Peninsula fell to St. James and he spent a number of years preaching in Spain before returning to Jerusalem. He was then captured and condemned to death just before Easter, and shortly after that, he was beheaded and was regarded the first to die a martyr's death. According to Spanish legend, in 884 AD, St. James appeared as a warrior on his white horse and with white banner to help Christian armies of King Ramiro I in battle against the Moors. They won, and James became known as Matamoros. To this day, he still is regarded as Spain's patron saint. Since April 30, 1990, when His Eminence Jaime Cardinal Sin issued a decree of the establishment of St. James the Greater Parish in Ayala Alabang Village, the community has consistently carried out their duties as good Catholics to the ideals of St. James the Greater, the defender of faith and morals, promoter of life and apostle of peace. St. James the Great Parish, through its different ministries and organizations, have been very active with their own outreach programs to help the needy, the poor, the oppressed, the abandoned, and those who seek love. Through the Church of the Poor Apostolate and St. James Foundation, we have consistently helped more than 100 poor parishes all over the country by giving monetary provisions for the parish needs. As a parish, we are also one in being an advocate for life, promoter of peace, as we continue to seek truth and wellness, not just in our community, but towards a better Catholic nation. Truly, our young parish has gone a long way in promoting the ideals of St. James the Greater and we will continue to uphold these ideals as we continue to thank and celebrate the goodness of a patron saint. All hail to you, St. James the Greater.